Hi guys, hope you are doing good. In this series of videos, we are learning about Linux or Unix commands. People who are using Mac, these commands are for you as well. Now, let us see how to search for a file or a directory in a particular directory and all its subdirectories. For that, we will be using a command called as find. Find command always followed by the path where I want to search for it. If I want to search in the current working directory, I will be giving a dot. And followed by, I will be using an option called as name. So this option helps us to give a specific pattern for a particular file, right? For example, if I want to find all text files, I will be giving star.txt. And if I want to search for any C files, right, I will be giving star.c. If I want to search for any shell files with extension .sh, I can give that. I can give anything as per my requirement. Now find dot means current working directory. So it not only searches in the current working directory and but it also searches in all its subdirectories followed by name. So this name option helps us to match the pattern what I'm giving. The pattern what I'm giving is any file with the extension .txt and finally I'll say hyphen print. So hyphen print option helps us to print all the information. This hyphen print option is optional because by default find command prints everything okay let us go ahead and see now the work of this command is to find all the files with the extension .txt in my current working directory and all its subdirectories let us let me give an enter now we can see all the text files have been listed not only in the current working directory but also in its subdirectories you can see that weather report is a subdirectory and my doc is another subdirectory fine now let me clear the screen for you if I want to search for a file uh, by ignoring the case, right? maybe some file names will be having same name but with different uh, cases, maybe the file name will be having an uppercase, another file name will be having lowercase, but the name of the file will be same. right? So let me search uh, for the file in the current working directory and all its subdirectories, dot means current working directory. Okay? If I give any current working directory, it will search there and all its subdirectories. That is the nature of find command. Okay. So let me say hyphen name, let me give a pattern here called this nums.txt. I am going to find a file which is having nums.txt in my current working directory and all its subdirectories. And I say print. Anyway, the print is optional. Now here it is showing only one, right? It means that there is only one file uh, that with the, with the name NUMS. If at all, if there is another file with the same name but with different uh, what characters, right? Sorry, different... Uh, uh, case uppercase or lowercase right so for that i'll be using i when i use this i we can see that nums is a file which is there in the current working directory and there is another file called as nums again but here there is a difference in the case here n starts with lowercase and here n starts with uppercase and it's there in the lab report directory right let us let me give you one more example for example if i say uh, there is a file called as word sorry And we can see word the file words is present here and in lab report as well but here it is in caps if i say uh, i name instead of i name i just give name it finds only in one place because it doesn't ignore the case right so if i want to ignore the case i always have to mention i name to ignore the case that is how it finds okay let me clear the screen for you for example, if I want to find all the files in specific, right? So I'm not giving any uh, pattern here, but I'm going to mention find all the files, only the files in my current working directory on all its subdirectories. Maybe any extension, any type of file, doesn't matter, but I want to find all the files. For that, I'll be using the command again find with the option type, hyphen type. The hyphen type option helps me to find either a file or a directory. For that, I'll be using a uh, option called as F. Now hyphen type F means all files. Now find all files in my current working directory and all its subdirectories. That is what it means. Now here we can see it found all the files like with extension .sh, with the extension .awk, with extension .txt, without extension as well. So when I say type F, it means that find all files alone, right? If I want to find directories alone, I'll say hyphen type D. So when I say type D, it just prints out all the directories. So it's up to us to decide like which one we want. Either we want to go uh, for finding files or we want to find directories alone. To find directories alone, I'll say type D. 
to find files alone i'll be saying type f okay now uh, we can also find some files based on the permissions right so to check for the permission i'll be saying ls hyphen l these are the permissions right so these are the permissions that we can understand what are the permissions for this file now people those who don't know what is permission i've done a separate video on how to change the permission what is permission uh, for which i have given the link in the description please go and watch it uh, then you can come back here so that you can understand what is uh, permission and how to give permission right now here uh, for example for these files right we have some permission that is read write read and read these are common permissions which have right so now here for this uh, file msme.pdf we have read write permission for the user and for others we don't have any permission for example if i want to find only those kind of file i'll say find in my current working directory and then i'll say hyphen perm right this hyphen perm helps me to provide the permission right what type of permission that i'm looking for so when i say read write for the user that will be 4 plus 2 6 and for a group and others no permission so 600 zero, zero, and find all the permission with this file let me say print now here it will print only this file because this is the only file which has that kind of permission but if i want to find a file with a different permission so i'll say hyphen perm and then i'll say read write for user and then uh, read for uh, group and read for others now here it will print a whole lot of file because most of the file are there in that permission that is 644 right but there is only one file with the permission 600 right so if i want to find any file with a specific permission yes i can do that with the help of hyphen perm right hyphen perm followed by the permission that is allowed for that file okay let me clear the screen for you now we have one more command that is uh, called as exec command that helps us to take this command or take the output of the first part and give it as an input for the second part right let me create some file here first uh, i'll create some empty file uh, with some extension i'll say abc.c and xyz.c and uh, lmn.c well, i'm creating three files let us see whether those files are created yes three files are created of type .c right so to find only .c files i'll say find in my current working directory and all its subdirectories hyphen name followed by star .c so any file with the extension c i'm going to find so this is how it finds now when i feel that these files are not required for me i want to delete it i want to remove it right for that i'll say find same command hyphen c and then i'll say exec right this exec will be taking input right it will just what it will do is that whatever input output this uh, command is providing it will be taking everything to the side and then to the process let me say rm and followed by braces right so in this braces is where like you're going to uh, what uh, provide this information provide the output what is whatever this file is going to provide so whatever this file is providing output that will be given here recursively one by one so first time it will be rm abc.c next time it will be rm lmn.c and then next time it will be rm xyz.c so repeatedly it will be giving provide uh, information to rm command and rm command will remove the details right and it should be uh, what ended with slash and semicolon so when i say slash semicolon that is i am just ending the process of it right so it is find uh, dot it means current working directory and all its subdirectories what is the pattern that i am going to match dot c file and exec will take from here every data that it is getting provided right for uh, the output of this will be given to rm command and followed by i am just saying remove it okay when i do this let us see star dot c is anything there no match found because every file has been removed right so let us say find also no file because everything has been totally removed now with the help of rm command so this exec helps you to do the process repeatedly take this output give give it to the side one by one right let us do the same thing again with a different process right so let me create all these three files again and let us see whether the files are there yes lmn is there uh xyz is there and abc is there three files three dot c files are there now instead of deleting i want to 
store it somewhere for example i want to store it in my doc right so what i'll do is i'll say find first i need to find and then i'll say hyphen name followed by star.c that i'm going to search for this files and then exec and then i'll give cp because cp helps to copy right copy the file cp what i'm going to copy whatever i'm going to provide here i'm going to copy it right so here it will take one by one and give it to cp command and then i need to say where i have to copy so i have to copy it under my doc right copy it under my doc and then finally i'll close the process so when i press enter you can see abc are identical let us see ls dot my doc So we can see ABC, LMN and XYZ, three files got copied, right? Uh, this is how we do it. The reason why it is showing this, these lines are getting uh, shown here because this MyDoc is also a directory which is there internally, right? So it will go and search again in MyDoc also. That's the reason why it is throwing error. If at all we are going to uh, store it in a file which is in a different place, then it is not required. Like I'll show you that as well. Let me clear the screen for you. Let me try to copy, I'll say hyphen name all dot star c files to a different path. I'll say hyphen exec and then I'll give the path, right? I'll say cp copy everything out of this and then copy to a different place. So that is in my uh, parent directory and then I'll finally close it, right? Now here what's, what's going to happen, it is going to find this command right the first part of it going to find all star.c files in my current working directory and all its subdirectories and this will get copied to this place okay before to that i have to do one thing before to that i have to delete this right i'll go to my doc right i'll go to my doc because that is where i copied because it will try to copy the same file again and it will throw error so before to that we'll remove rm star.c so that will be removed no star search okay good Okay, so let me try to copy it, find um, hyphen name star.c files or .c files and then I'll uh, say hyphen exec, whatever this first part of the command it's going to provide, that will be provided as input here, I'll say cp followed by braces, right, it means that whatever output it is going to provide, that will be given here, right, right, and then I'll say finally slash semicolon. Now here, whatever files are there in uh, as like with the, ex with the extension .c, it is getting copied to NSEIL. Now here we didn't get that problem of uh, saying repeatedly copied because we don't have like uh, uh, the repeated files which are getting copied in the same uh, subdirectories as well. This is a separate directory in a separate place, not a subdirectory, right? So let us check what are the things are there in uh, NSDIL. So I'll say find, uh, I'll say dot dot slash NSEIL. That's the path and then say name, let me say like star.c. Let us check whether it is copied. Yes, all these three files are copied from this place to another place. So if at all I want to copy something from one place to another place or if I want to remove it or if I want to do something like whatever the output of this, right? Whatever output I'm getting out of this, if I want to give it to that place, yes, we can do that with the help of find command. That's it for this video guys. If you have any doubts or queries, please comment in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.